Hello YouTube. Welcome from my stoop. I'm sitting here in the sun, baking like a crocodile or something in the sun. It's quite cold the, 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 the past two days here in Pumalanga. But cold obviously uh, relative. We get cold when it's about 9, 10 degrees Celsius. I know other people get cold when it's about minus. In any case, today I would like to to, uh, to show you something which I actually find very uh, not funny but interesting. Funny also is <laughs> almost a kind of contradiction in terminus. Um, and that is first one. Is new craft cigarettes. Craft cigarettes. Eco-conscious. <laughs> Eco -co Eco-conscious craft cigarettes. Biodegradable filters. Bleach-free. Uh, what else? Lestar Recyclable Soy Ink and Organic <laughs> So in two months time is the the uh, the filters are apparently totally by a degradable okay so yeah there's the first one it is authentic eco conscious craft cigarettes There it is. It's a South African product. So, yeah. Now, as I said, it's kind of a contradiction in terminus because no one will tell you that uh, that uh, biodegradable, eco-conscious cigarettes are better than than normal cigarettes, but. On, on the other hand, I tend to think it is, because uh, research, although research is very uh, unclear or biased um, to the bad side of uh, of cigarettes and smoking but in my view the, the the most harm is in the paper and in the filter of cigarettes um, the tar content and, uh, and everything else other than the tobacco uh, and the nicotine so I do think therefore that biodegradable or craft or eco-conscious cigarettes might be that little bit more healthier not healthy per se but more healthier than normal cigarettes the other interesting product which I would like to show you is snus or snus or snus uh, Apparently, so there it is. Now, you might have heard of it. If I can just open this one. It 
So what it is, what it is, is tobacco in a, in a bag. Now, it originated in Sweden, apparently, and might be a later development of chewing tobacco. How this work is uh, is purely for nicotine. If you are in search of the nicotine or uh, energy rush or something, and you can't smoke because of laws or uh, other people in the area, then what uh, people do with with snooze is they put it in their, their mouth. It, that's why it's a tea bag type of thing. Uh, so they put a little bag in their mouth um, and just leave it there to dissolve and as they as it dissolves in your mouth um, it then gives you the nicotine that you require so it is apparently very popular where people can't smoke uh, or can't take a smoke break but need the the uh, the nicotine rush so yeah <laughs> you get this uh, snooze in different flavors, plain tobacco, you also get them in a wintergreen and a lemon and lime and peppermint and what have you all, and also different things. This apparently is a very strong one, that's why it's called thunder. Um, and uh, yeah, now the other thing about snooze is. And again, I'm not quoting any research, I'm just uh, quoting what I've read about snooze. And any doctor or medical person will immediately refute my, my uh, view. Or, yeah. But apparently, this snooze is causing less uh, cancer-like diseases under the Swedish. It sounds like the Swedish has not that many lung cancer type of, uh, of diseases that is um, related to smoking. And I can understand that in a certain sense because you don't inhale any smoke. You get just get the nicotine, and nicotine is not necessarily bad. Obviously, when it's an overdose, it will be bad. But um, nicotine in itself is not necessarily bad for 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 uh, human consumption. It is all the rest that goes with it, as far as I could or in terms of my viewpoint. Um, so I can understand that it is a also a little bit more healthier than normal smoking um, because it's only the, the, uh, the nicotine that you get. But like uh, chewing tobacco and snuff apparently it can then cause other cancer like in your mouth or something like that which I can understand but yeah so these two more healthier eco-friendly people friendly types of smoking uh, are the two things that that I would like to show you this morning um, just for the sake of, of uh, of interesting and as I said in the beginning it's kind of funny but uh, actually a good thing that people are, are, are now developing things that, um, that that are less harmful although some people still want to smoke which which is a fact um, Of course we know that pipe smokers or pipe smoking is much more than just the smoking. 
it's also the light lightning the uh, the packing just the feeling of a pipe um, the relax relaxation the contemplation so that in a sense will still not be replaced by snooze or eco cigarettes but it's a better a better option if you do smoke to maybe try an eco-conscious craft cigarette uh, I do have these things on my on my web um, if you want to have a look at it you're welcome to go and look at it or google snooze and see what it is and what you get so yeah just a short introduction or a short uh, video on some new stuff that uh, that I received lately and um, I think I would I would like to discuss a new on, in the next topic um, Peterson pipes because apparently they are going to to be much more difficult to to get hold of but let's leave that for another video so on that note while I'm finishing this uh, oriental mixture local mixture in my Savinelli um, going to leave you and say goodbye and I will see you soon thank you for watching and please leave me your comments on what you think about these more healthier eco-conscious uh, options for getting nicotine and smoking cigarettes thank you for watching see you soon bye bye